Thousands of streamers are stuck with one to five viewers consistently, and they just can't seem to climb up out of that hole and start creating the community of their dreams. So let's talk about the top five reasons people don't get viewers on Twitch. What's up guys, it's Ashton Christ and welcome back to my channel where I teach you to pursue your dreams and learn to stream. And if that's something that you're interested in, if you wanna learn more about streaming on YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, or wherever else, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. Okay, now let's get started. So the first reason that you're probably not growing on Twitch is because you are inconsistent. Consistency is extremely important and there are definitely some people that don't show up to every stream exactly on time um, or don't show up to YouTube videos right when you post them. But there are also people that do. A lot of people like to use the analogy of your stream or your YouTube content being like a TV show, right? They say, well, on Sunday when Game of Thrones comes on at 7 p.m., you know exactly that it better be there. If it starts being home improvement, then it's just gonna be weird and you're not gonna watch the show or watch the time slot anymore. I don't necessarily think that it's that strict. Um, I have definitely seen people that are successful without having a schedule at all. And there are ways to promote your stream if you have to have an inconsistent schedule still and to have a consistent audience show up for you, even if your stream has to be inconsistent. There are things like text alert, which I use for my interview streams because those are at random times. People are actually able to sign up for a text alert for whenever you are going live. So you send out this text before you go live and your people know when they're able to show up. The big disconnect though is in your communication. If you set a schedule, it's really easy for people to know, okay, Monday to Friday at 4 p.m., that's where I'm gonna be. And being a part of someone's daily schedule is really where you start to see the big increases in your viewership because you become a part of their routine and they become used to being around you. It just becomes natural for them. It's second nature for them to click uh, on your stream and just to go and watch you. But there are ways to do it without having to have a completely set schedule. Just the fact that you are there consistently and you're in the community consistently and you're showing up and trying consistently and you have consistent atmosphere is really the most important thing. Schedules are very important as well, but you really wanna make sure that you are providing consistent content, consistent space, consistent atmosphere for, for people. The second reason is that you are probably not trying to entertain or talk to your chat or interact with people. And this is something that I see so often, so often in people that are really struggling on Twitch is that they have one to five viewers and their chat is dead and they're like, they free, they have a little mini freak out, right? They, they start to panic and they start to think that their content isn't good and people don't wanna to talk to them when that's not the case at all. Having someone come to your channel and spend their valuable time with you, time is the most valuable currency. If they're coming to your channel and spending time with you, you need to respect that by giving them entertainment, by giving them a reason to show up. Maybe that's for the relationship and you just have a really great relationship with them, you're able to talk to them and that's awesome. But if you're not entertaining or trying to talk to your chat or if you say you're an interactive streamer but a lurker comes in and watches you for two minutes and sees you not saying anything they're not gonna stick around you'd be lucky if you even get two minutes out of them to be completely honest because it's usually about 30 seconds but the moral of the story here is that we need to entertain as if we have a thousand viewers at all times regardless if we have one or a thousand the third reason is that you are spamming or advertising instead of growing real relationships. Okay, okay, I get it, right? It's really hard when you are a growing streamer to get your stream in front of more people. And you think that if you just put your content out there more, put your link out there more, more people will come. That's actually not the way that it works at all. I have a really great video over networking, which I actually hate that word, and I talk about why in that video, but I'll be sure to link that up here for you guys. 
What you need to be doing is forming real relationships with people. So Twitch etiquette is that it's actually pretty discourteous and kind of rude if you interrupt someone else's community to try and get people from their community to come over to yours, or if you're talking about your stream while they're streaming, or if you're talking about their stream and your content in somebody else's Discord. Like That is their community space and their community time, that's their friendship time, and we all need to be respectful of that. So your time, the way that you get your stream in front of more people is by creating real relationships with people. Talk about your stream in the places that you own. Like, yeah, maybe the, you know, your Twitter has less followers than somebody else's and you can just spam it on theirs, but nobody is gonna click on that link. When you focus on growing real friendships and having real relationships with people instead, it makes you so much more likable. And when you start to have these friendships with people, they're much more likely to come into your channel to hang out with you because they like who you are as a person. They don't care about your link, they care about you. The fourth reason is that you are streaming a really saturated game. And this is so common, my friends. I get it. You love PUBG. You absolutely love it and you want to play it forever and you want your stream to be completely about PUBG and that's fine. Unless you are really, really good and you are like an esports level player or if you have some kind of value, and we'll talk about this in the next step, if you have some kind of value that makes you really stick out, those are the only two ways that you're going to stand out in that category. Just because you stream PUBG for 10 hours a day doesn't mean you're going to get anywhere, and that's the same with any of these esports titles or any of these highly saturated games. The problem here is that you just have no strategy. Like, you, you just want to play the games that you want instead of realizing that you're trying to get an audience, that you're streaming for an audience, right? You're an entertainer. And yes, there are a ton of hobby streamers, and that's great. If it's just your hobby, stream whatever you want. Don't worry about growth. Don't focus on the numbers. Just do it to meet new friends. And that is a completely viable and awesome reason to stream on Twitch. But for people that want to grow, for people that want to take this seriously and want to step up their game, the game that you play has a huge impact on your ability to grow your channel. There's a great website for this called Twitch Strike, which I'll leave the link for down below. I also made a video about this. I'll leave the link up here. But basically what you want to do is stick to games that have a high number of viewers, but a low number of streamers. So you want to stick to the level of around 3000 viewers in a game and make a name for yourself in there. So find a way to stand out among those people, find a way to interact and get to know those communities, and you will grow a stream much faster than sitting at the bottom of the PUBG directory. And the number one reason that your stream is not growing is because you aren't expressing your value. Okay, this is something that YouTubers figured out years ago, years ago, and Twitch has gotten extremely saturated lately, right? Live streaming is becoming so popular. Video is such an important part of creating something online now. It is, it is where the energy is. So finding a way to stand out and finding the thing that makes you different from everybody else is extremely important amidst a sea of people that are all doing the same thing. How many people have you seen where you've shown up to their stream and they're just a, they're a little camera on top of a really popular game and they aren't really talking and they're kind of, you can tell they're kind of panicking because nobody is talking to them or they have one viewer that's talking really consistently in chat to help them have a conversation and to come across a little more entertaining, right? That's extremely common and that's because many, many people haven't figured this out on Twitch yet, and I don't know why it's not being talked about more, but finding your value is so important to being able to stand out. I also have a video about this. Oh my gosh, this is like a video talking about all of my other videos. This is getting ridiculous, but it definitely goes into detail about helping you figure out what your niche and what your value is and how to help your channel stand out. Basically what you need to know about that is that you need to sit down and do the work and think about what you can bring to the space. Like what is different about you? What is something that you're really passionate about or something that you're really interested in that you want to learn more about? And think about if your content 
was all about this one thing, who would you be online? Would you be inspirational to people? Would you be educational? Would you be funny? Those are the three things that you want to try and hit with whatever your value is going to be on Twitch. And once you are able to clearly communicate that value to people and create content around it, I guarantee you, you will grow. This can be hard stuff, guys. I know a lot of people are trying to make Twitch into a full-time career kind of thing or trying to take it more seriously, but a lot of us also don't realize that just turning on the camera and showing up every day is such a small part of the battle right like when you're building a con when you're building content when you're building a content stream online it is so important that you look at it like a business and a business owner would sit down and figure out what their market is who their audience is who, why they're valuable like what they're going to create they would spend the time to sit down 